My name is Mercy. I'm a mother of four. Um, you know, like me and my children, like the house, I don't feel that's like my, that's my home. Even though I was married to him, but I still, I feel like a guest. I feel like a, more like a prisoner in the house because I don't have friends. Friends cannot come over. I cannot visit friends. I have to take permission from him to go to church. The abuse started um, extending the abuse to my kids because now they're growing up and then they see the way he treats me. They would tell him, Dad, why are you doing this to mom? She's not talking to you. Why don't you just leave her alone? Then he would tell them, oh, now you think you're smart? You want to be smart with me? I will kick your ass out of my house. So, you know, it, it went like that for a long time. And because I don't question, I don't ask questions, I don't say anything, it was okay. But he would still come in and, you know, tell me things, you senseless this. The only problem I have in my life is you. You are, your, your mentality is too low for me. And then he would tell me, why are you still here? You know, just take your things and get the f out of my house. I don't know why you are still here. I said, I'm not going anywhere. So he pushed me. I was, I said, I fell, hit my head. So I got up, I said, you, you've been doing this. Said, Today I'm not gonna let you, you know, do this to me. So I got up, I was going to, I hold him and then he was, was choking me. So my kids, they ran, they, they, you know, they kind of break the fight, you know. So then after then I looked at it, I said, I have to be strong for my kids. And My name is Selena. I am a mother. When I was 17 years old, uh, I got out of uh, an extremely abusive relationship with the father of my son. My son was three years old and I was a senior in high school. And um, I, was found, I was indicated by DCFS. I remember that, that day when they sent me the letter um, saying that I was indicated, I began to cry. Just the thought of having, being branded as a bad mother, you know, is degrading. Even though I explained to them that my son was never around that abuse, they didn't believe me. And I just remember thinking, trying to explain to them, I did the best that I could given the circumstance, circumstances given to me, you know. I don't have money. You know, I didn't have a job at the time. I was trying to finish high school and just explaining it to them, like, I can't leave because I don't have anywhere to go, you know? They disregarded all of that. And they went on and they indicated me. I felt like a, a little person um, facing a big giant. Um, it just seemed like if I didn't have a voice. Two people experience fear impacted by gender-based violence and the child welfare system. Two people among so many feeling fear and shame from being treated as less than who they really are. Neighbors, daughters, friends, their stories are the reason we have a new story. Introducing Ascend Justice, legal advocacy, transforming lives.